Well, mate, you've done some pretty amazing TV shows over the years. How many have you done in the kitchen? Uh, this will be my first, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We've set the bar pretty high. We've set the bar high. Yeah. We've set the bar high. And um, actually, before we get started on that note, I think I have a bone to pick with you. Uh-oh. When you were telling me about who was coming in for this show, yeah. I know most of the people have had dinner at their houses. Yep. Not that impressed. Yeah. It's a cooking competition, I'm not that impressed. Thought I can roll TiVo easily. Joe no. Beth Taylor's no challenge. No offense to TiVo, but I've tasted her cooking. <laughs> I hear about Brendan Pang. Yeah. You're talking about professional chefs. You know what? It's not about that. It's about something that's dear and close to your heart. So what have you got for us? Well, I think for me, having spent the last 20 years in the United States and being on the East Coast where Mexican food isn't that great, yep. um, it's very important for my wife because she's half Mexican. Mm -hmm. It's also a recipe that is pretty clued into autoimmune disease. People who are gluten intolerant or have dairy issues, this is a super safe version of doing carnitas. So you can still get all those really great like Mexican flavors, yep. but you're not getting smashed with gluten or or dairy, it's very safe for people who are, have uh, autoimmune issues. Well, the ingredients look pretty straightforward and simple, so, so talk us through it. We're gonna throw our pork pieces into our glass dish here. Right. There's no, there's no set way to do this, Trevor. You can just really throw them in there. Oh, wow. This is an important part of the process here because we need to get the spices all over this. Oregano, oregano. Oregano. Ore oregano. 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 Cumin. Cumin. Now we've got some fresh chilies yep. straight from the garden and we've also got some dry chilies. These guys I'm gonna put on the side, but we're gonna get these guys all up in here as well. Good whack of salt in here because pork loves salt. So we need to get this all mixed around. Okay, well while you're doing that, I'll tell you about that salt because that's very special West Australian salt. Okay. Comes from a place called Lake Deborah, all right. right out in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, ocean sea salt. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's got all those issues of, you know, microplastics and everything else that's washing around in our oceans. But out in the middle of nowhere, Lake Deborah, it's been literally making salt because the salt grows, the crystals grow. Yeah. Been doing it for five million years. So it's pristine oh, wow. salt. It's pretty unique. It's West Australian prehistoric salt. There you go. I like it. You're not going to get that in America. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Probably not going to get this either. But. We have all our ingredients mixed in here. We're just gonna get the spice on the meat. I know it seems simple, it's gonna taste delicious, all right? Okay. Stick with me, <laughs> stick with me. Like, I kinda like to put the fat side down on the instant pot. You don't want stuff getting stuck to the bottom. All right. So we can just put our onions, we've got our corded up onion, that can go straight in there. We have our garlic as yep. well, so we keep that in chunks, good size cloves. And again, you haven't um, chopped it up really. It's... Haven't chopped it up really, it goes in there whole. Everything, the pressure just like breaks everything down and you really want that because of pork shoulder, you don't want that tender, you want the sinew to break down so yep. you can really pull it apart. Yep. Now this is the important part here, we need this nice bay leaf. Okay. Right? I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna put one and a half. What? Yeah. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a couple ways you can do this. You can peel a bit of the orange skin in there just to get that citrusy flavor. You yep. want a bit of like tartness to the yep. pork. It's gonna be quite salty. And then we're gonna actually juice this orange as well. So right. let me take a bit of the edge off this okay. here. All right, so we got our orange peel in there. We yeah. wanna make sure that's kind of... Because you've really gotta have a bit of skin in the game, don't you? We, oh, we are rolling <laughs> here. Now, we want all the juice from this orange to go in. There's no pretty way to do this. No. Really. And that's basically it. So we're gonna be on high pressure for yeah. about 35 minutes. Okay, we well, right. seem to know what you're doing, so let's do that. <laughs> well, that's great. We'll think about what else we're gonna have. It's on. We're away. 